What's going on, everybody? More and more fakes coming out there. We're hitting more autos this week. And this one here is a little different. It was sent to me by email. And I had to stop the video real quick on the previous one because I, there was part of something that wasn't uh, blacked out of the person who uh, sent in part of their information. So uh, I'm going to make sure I try not to double tap a whole lot here uh, or try to remember everything on to it. So bear with me um, in case I do repeat myself a few times onto this. But this guy here um, is selling autographs, and he's supposedly guaranteeing that if it goes to a third party and it doesn't pass, he will uh, refund uh, the purchase and everything. I guess he's also, he said, if not passing, we'll do Becca Quick Option if really interested, and I get all my autos after games and all this stuff. No idea what the Quick Option Becca thing is offhand. I don't really deal with a whole lot of in-person autographs and stuff. So I'll let that with the experts that do a lot of that. I just mostly pull the autos out of packs and stuff. But let me pull this up here real quick so we'll go through it. So right here is our seller on Macari, TCR White Sox. As you can see, retired pro baller. I mean, all right. <laughs> that throws me up for the White Sox organization selling my sons and I Sports memorabilia will pass any third party or full refund of proof of not passing. We'll do Beck a quick option if really interested. I get all my autos after games, spring training, special events, charity events, and through my former agent. I have no idea who this dude is, to be honest. Uh, I probably could ask the guy who he got the mail from. Might help. I don't know offhand. But there's a picture up here. Uh, maybe if you guys click on it, you can figure out who it is. I, I have no clue offhand without going on to a guy's account. But you can see all the different items he has up here. Some of this stuff is slab, some isn't across the board. But somebody bought a Kobe autograph uh, basketball card. It had that little thing up here from Beckett on to it, as you can see. I guess that's the quick service, so whatever they call it on to it. And he, he, he did pay for this, was just all shown. It was bought and everything. See, oops, sorry, guys, down here. So, you know, you see something like that, you're, you know, you're probably going to go with it. So, this is, uh, there we go. This is what he got in the mail right, right here back from, um, or from the guy himself. And it says, likely to pass full authentication. I don't know, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about that right there, but that's what he got in there. And to me, there's no, like, when you look at this picture up here, there's no color in Beckett, just like it's photocopied and stuff like that there. I I don't know. It just looks kind of odd to me, the letter itself, but I could be wrong. I don't know. You guys fill me in, but he did mail it to Beckett. Picture to the left, did not pass. Did not pass. And here's the letter back from Beckett that he received with the card. And as you can see, they say that, you know, we want to report that one or more of your recently submitted autographs for encapsulation, uh, in our opinion, is, oh, here we go, is not authentic. Each item has been marked with a label stating not authentic, did not pass, authentication, which means one of the following, you know, things are on there. Steve Grad, that's the... Uh, guy most people know from Pawn Stars and stuff like that there. But it just really looked funny across the board. Now, he has asked, let me pull this down here, that he has sent all this stuff to the seller offhand. And I just want to go back to the email to make sure that I have the wording correctly onto it. So he basically he's completing a Becca quick check to make everyone think it's legit. And that, that's where he showed it. Okay, that was the one picture. I wanted to make sure I had it right. Um, and he's, you know, like I said, offering full refund, proof of felon, authentication. So he messaged him explaining what happened multiple times. He only got a response on the very first time, basically tell him to go um, kick rocks, as we will say very politely. There was other choice words in it. Um, and he's, he's emailed him a couple other times, you know. Nothing was done of it. The guy, to me, is straight fraud. If you're going to make that kind of, you know, statement that you will do this if it fails authentication, then you need to do that. 
It looks like he sells thousands of dollars of cars worth of autographs, which I'm guessing a good chunk of these are going to be fake on there. So be very, very careful if you're buying from Akari. I don't. So I don't really mess with it at all. But I'm always looking for key signs on to it. Anybody says that they used to be a baller, you know, for the uh, in, in some sport, and they can't tell me who they were, I mean, why would I trust you offhand? I mean, um, Phil's pulls, at least I know Phil Hughes played for the Yankees. If he's saying something was autographed by somebody, you know, I could have him write a statement, sign it, and it at least would carry some type of, uh, you know, legitimacy with the item of purchase. This here, no idea who the dude is, nothing at all. Uh, I'm just making sure I covered everything onto this because I know he had a couple other things uh, onto it. But he's been selling a lot of Tom Brady's, Trouts, and Kobe's, all this other stuff. So just, just be careful with it out there. And you'll see it with the Beckett Quick Checks, which I've never heard of that before. Maybe somebody else has. I mean, I, I don't really get in-person autographs to where I do some Quick Check. I've always just mailed the stuff in if I got something or it's already come certified by Beckett, PSA, or JSA. Probably the three that I would take off. Oh, I'd take Steiner and Fanatics probably too. But that's probably where I would stop at. A little bit weary on TriStar out there, but... Yeah, they, like I said, guys, oh, let me pull this back up because the screen's not up here. Burp. This is the actual letter back. This was the picture here of what he sends everybody. It just looks off, I mean, that quick check thing. But, again, if you're printing it off of something that you're doing online and you only maybe have black and white ink, that's why this comes out that way. But I don't know. I blew this up because I was actually looking over it and stuff. And it just kind of looked funky to me in a way. But, again, I, I don't ever use the service. Again, this is the guy, TCR, White, so White Sox, kind of spelled different. It uh, is on Macari. Tons and tons of sales that are going on out there. I mean, I don't know. I just, I'm going to stay far away from uh, that kind of stuff out there. But the person emailed me wanted me to bring this to people's attention too. And we had to get a few things together. But information's out there, everybody. Stay far away from it. All right. I appreciate everybody's time watching the videos and support to the channel. Catch y'all next video. Take care.